guys. I didn't know we were in the information society. What is going on, everyone? Derek here today, bringing you another vlog. And yes, we are starting this vlog back in the Coyote Swap Twin Turbo Camry. Just listen to this baby purr. Yeah, you don't want this shit. Anyways guys, reading from the title and thumbnail of this video, well you can't really read a thumbnail, but viewing the thumbnail and reading the title of this video, I am finally at the point to where I can buy the rest of the parts for the supercharger install and I am beyond excited. So that's exactly what we're doing right now. I'm heading to the bank to put this money in and then we can go ahead and purchase our things. So some of the things we're purchasing today are, you know, kind of the more expensive things. Now I'm gonna keep repeating myself for the new viewers out there, but anyways, one of my sponsors, LMR, has actually helped me out with a lot of the parts I need for this supercharger install all right let's make sure I cover that address but anyways guys Bray had a great idea probably be a really good idea to film the unboxing from the POV side of things but anyways we are jumping right on into the box and you guys aren't ready for what's inside here I'm telling you that right now but right here guys as you can see we got some V power spark plugs now the type of injectors I went with are 47 pound injectors here is our fuel pump look at that thing Looks absolutely incredible, and we're gonna go ahead and have our intercooler hooked up to that. One more piece you are gonna need, and that is gonna be a tuner. But there were a couple things that they couldn't provide, such as the intercooler, the Anderson's power pipe, the Ford OEM coil pack, and some other miscellaneous things that, you know, tend to add up to a lot. But anyways, guys, that's what this video is revolving around today, and we're gonna go more into that in just a moment. But as you guys can see, we are pulling up to my bank now, but I'm gonna go ahead inside, put this money in my account, and from there, we will pick this vlog right back up. All right, bank trip is now completed. We are good to go, and I'm glad I remembered to come here because they're about to close in about 12 minutes. So that would have been pretty bad, but we made it. So anyways, right now, guys, I'm actually heading to my dad's house because for those of you that saw Monday's video, you saw that I have a problem with blue. Nothing mechanically wrong with the car, but it's one of those things to where it's cosmetic and it's quite annoying because it's really the last thing I want to deal with. So my custom tail lights that, you know, are spray tinted professionally, <laughs> and I use that word really strong because you guys know I try spray tinting some of my own. And yeah, let's just say they did not come out as I expected. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys those as soon as I get back home, but yeah, those are a no-go. I'm not giving up on painting tail lights, so I'm gonna keep practicing because those were my first ones I've ever done. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that and explain exactly what I think I did wrong. But yes, I did mention that I do want either some Raxiums or, you know, I want some um, tail lights repainted. But with the tail lights being some bad luck, I thought, you know, that'd be the end of it. Nah, -uh, that's not what happens when you have a project. So in Monday's video, when I mentioned I had to go run errands, I actually went to the gas station and while I was at the gas station, I hit something. Now, it was nothing that I could have prevented. It was actually a grate in the ground to where you know they let water drain and stuff and come to find out when I rolled over that grate it was loose and it popped up and it hit my car and not only did it hit my car but it also broke something that's super annoying so we're almost at my dad's now and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what happened and we are pulling up now All right, so we're at my dad's house now, and like I said, guys, just when I thought my bad luck was over with with the whole tail light thing, and by the way, if you haven't seen that, here it is. So you can see I have tinted tail lights. I've had these on for a long time now, and the heat here in Richmond just made this thing completely start peeling, and it's super unfortunate because I love these tail lights, and if I bought some smoked ones, they're not going to be as dark, and it's not going to get that you know really nice glossy finish throughout the whole rear end. So that sucks. And as I said in Monday's video, when I went to the gas station, and the thing blew up and hit my side skirt, and with that resulted this yeah I just cannot win my god darn garage sealer got broke and to be honest with you guys you can laugh all you want for one the lip looks awesome I don't care what anybody says for what it is it works perfect and two this garage door sealer actually saved my side skirt probably from a lot more damage than what it has now so the metal thing shot up right here obviously it split it completely in half and then it you know barely nicked right here um, I can take a little bit of you know really really fine sandpaper at this edge just to get that fraying of the paint to go down but yeah but unfortunately I'm gonna have to unscrew all of this down the whole thing and replace it so you know in the future we're gonna be making another trip to Lowe's for that garage sealer oh my god garage door sealer side skirts trust me I've heard it all but I don't give a fuck I mean tell me it looks bad tell me that looks bad yeah, you can't because it doesn't. You guys are not gonna believe this. I was just looking over the car. The bad luck continues. Not only is the tail light and the side skirt messed up, good old Virginia heat ruining my headlights. I'm just about to sell this damn car. I'm about over it, honestly. Anybody want it? Make me an offer. I know this probably sounds like a video where I'm just bitching, but it's just, it's ridiculous. The car just sits there and shit gets fucked up. Like, 
I'm, I'm over it. I'm really over it. Well, anyways, let's go get these parts ordered. So as I said, everyone, I'm on the way home now, and I'm not in the best mood, to be honest with you. I'm honestly annoyed right now that shit just keeps breaking on the car, or, you know, wearing out on the car, and I barely even drive it as it is. And before I get a smart aleck in the comments saying that's what happens when you modify cars and stuff, I know this, but it's so unfortunate because I'm on a deadline right now. The supercharger shit isn't cheap, and this is the last thing I need to be buying before Mustang week, but, you know, I have to do it. I can't roll up to Mustang week with my car looking like that. I can tell you that right now, and it's not gonna fly with me. But this heat in Richmond, I kid you not, is absolutely absolutely baking everything but you know I can't let that stop this video I'm gonna go ahead and head home and we're gonna get these parts ordered and then after that I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the tail lights that I attempted to do and like I said don't expect anything crazy because I kind of fucked up but yeah learning from my mistakes hi Duke hi buddy what's up hello girlfriend are you sleepy I am. okay I'll be in my room all right guys let's get down to business Oh, damn, look at that setup. You know I gotta hit that shameless plug real quick. If you wanna tune in on Twitch, go follow me. Link is right here, and link is in the description below. But yeah, this is my gaming setup. Go follow me on Twitch. Gaming station, workstation. So right here, I actually have the websites open and the um, parts I need. So first things first, as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and order the Anderson's power pipe. Now this bolts up like right there. That's the power pipe right into the front of the Vortec and this actually gives you a good like one to two extra PSI of boost. Then the next thing we need to buy is some coil packs and we're going with the OEM Motorcraft um, coil pack kit and that's another $400. And last but not least for today, we're gonna go ahead and order our blow off valve. We're going with a Tile Q Sport blow off valve 50 millimeter and that is another 220 bucks. If you're trying to supercharge your 99 through 04 Mustang the right way, just know it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. Without further ado, everyone, let's go ahead and get these parts ordered. All right, so the pieces I need are now ordered. As you can see, Anderson's power pipe came out to $274.58. Coil packs came out to be a little over $400. And the blow off valve was about $335 after shipping. And I know many of you guys are probably wondering about the intercooler kit itself. I'm actually waiting on CX Racing's response because we might be going into a partnership together. Obviously, you guys know how this works. They send me the stuff, I pretty much review it, I share it with all of you guys, and that pretty much pays for the parts. So yes, I'm waiting on that email and I will keep you updated on that. Anyways guys, now that that's ordered, I I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the tail lights that I attempted to paint. Now it necessarily wasn't paint, it was spray tint, and a lot of you guys thought I was legit spray painting them black. You know, that kind of threw me off, but no, it was spray tint. Anyways, let's go look at them. So over here guys, I have the finished product of the tail lights that I painted. God, I didn't paint them, I tinted them. As you can see, they came out okay. They're a little glossy, they're not as glossy as I would like. And yes, they are very dark. On camera, you can't really see through it, but in person you can. So the LEDs are definitely gonna shine through here, no problem, but yeah, they're, they're pretty dark and honestly, they're just they're not what I expected. Don't get me wrong, they didn't turn out horrible, but I don't think I put enough clear coat on them. And um, I did polish them, I waxed them, so you know, they're protected. But overall, I'm just not satisfied with them seeing what my taillights look like compared to these. So, like I said guys, if any of you want these, super cheap, I'm not gonna kill you. Honestly, if you pay for shipping and a little bit extra, you can have them. Otherwise, they're just gonna sit in the shed and stay there. Or the cat might use them as a little shelter. Is it that right? Hey, don't bite those. Anyways, guys, it's pretty much today's video. To be completely honest with you, I didn't really have much to film today. And honestly, I wasn't gonna film this, but I figured that you guys would be pretty excited to see that those are the final pieces I really need to start this installation. So as soon as those parts come in the mail, we're gonna be ready to rock. I'm gonna take it to my buddy's house that has a lift, and we're just gonna get everything installed. And from there, we're gonna trailer it to the tuner and fabricator. And we do have to change the intercooler system from a recirculating to a blow through. I have no experience in that and don't even know where to start. So that's exactly why I'm leaving it to my tuner and his friend to do the fabrication and obviously the tuning on the car. I know it's been a little wait and obviously many of you guys are gonna understand this. I'm on my own now, you know, living with my girlfriend, fully self-employed. So YouTube money, my client's money goes the bills and trying to build this car. So, you know, a lot of people tend to lose grasp of, you know, real reality. and. I'm living it. it. Makes it that much more enjoyable when you know the finished product is gonna be done. And yes, I'm super happy guys I was able to purchase the last parts today and I'm ready to rock and roll with this. Anyways, guys, for those of you that watched today's video and tuned in, I want to thank you so much. And remember, if you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like, drop a comment with any questions, concerns. If you want to say what's up, that's cool too. And today's DBP vlog shout out is going out to Spicy Robert. That's quite an interesting name, my man. Thank you for the support. Go check him out on Instagram. And for those of you that want to want to shout out on the vlogs, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Derek Man Productions and use hashtag DBP Squad to know your post. As you guys know, every time I film a video such as this one, I go to the hashtag and see who used it. And boom, shout out. And many of you guys know I branched off to Twitch, so go follow me on Twitch. Link is right here. Again, go hook your boy up. It's fun. Trust me, every day we do it. Again, thank you so much for watching. But until next time, we'll see you later. Blow up. Blow up. Blow up. Blow up.
fuck my plug talk. 